So let's discuss bandwidth of signals. Now, if you look in a communicating system, the message signal can be voice. Now, it is given that, say, suppose you are the information source and you are sending a message. Now, this can be voice, this can be data, computer data that you send, or this can be music, like in the FM and AM that we hear. So, all of this has a particular frequency voice, music, computer data, all of this has a particular frequency or you can say they have different ranges. All of this is different ranges. So now if we take an example, say suppose for voice, if you say for voice or speech signals, for speech signals as we have discussed in our previous chapters, you need a range of say around 300 hertz now please keep in mind this is just an example to 3100 hertz so this is your range now if you keep this in mind say this is your speech range then it is essential therefore speech signals requires a bandwidth of therefore this requires a bandwidth what is a bandwidth so bandwidth actually means when we talk about bandwidth, we just mean the range. The range from where it is the minimum to the maximum. To the maximum. So this, the minimum is 300 and the maximum is 3100. This is hertz. So if you look at your bandwidth, it is given as 28 100 hertz so this is what is called your bandwidth the difference between this two so till what range can you travel you can travel a bandwidth of 2800 hertz so this is what you can understand by your bandwidth now there are different signals who have different bandwidth now if you say suppose this is a frequency now we know frequency equals to 1 by t now, we had already discussed, if you remember, we had already discussed about harmonics in our class 11 chapter. So, say suppose this is the first frequency, this is the second frequency and this is the third frequency. So, in a way, we can say this is the first fundamental harmonic or the second harmonic and the third harmonic. So, in this way, we can categorize this into as harmonics. So, because we want to know about the harmonics, so we need the range, we need the bandwidth. And this is given by the bandwidth of signals. And how can we find this? By looking at the extremum, that is the minimum and the maximum and taking the range in between them. 